This video will provide an introduction to the work logs and student work samples that you will exchange with your teacher of record during your meetings with them. If you have any questions after viewing this video, please contact your teacher of record right away. Your teacher of record wants to help you and your student to be successful in your homeschool experience, and frequent communication with them will get you there sooner. At the beginning of the school year, you will receive a calendar template for the whole school year. We call these templates your work logs. The work logs serve a few essential purposes. They act as a calendar for your student to record their daily school activities. Using the work logs each school day is a great meditation that helps a young person to improve their organizational and time management skills, as well as raise their awareness of what is going on in each of their classes. The logs also serve as a detailed communication between the student, the parent, and the teacher of record about what goes on in each of the subjects your student is studying on a given school day. Finally, the work logs are a legal document that legitimizes our school's model according to the state of California's education requirements. That is why these logs are written into your contract as a required element in your participation with the Stellar School Program. There are some important things to notice about the work log documents. All of the work logs for one school year are divided across 11 months. Our work log calendar does not contain weekends, and so it does not match up evenly with the months of a regular calendar year. Each of the 11 months of our school's work logs is divided into four log sheets, each representing one week of school, Monday through Friday. Each log sheet has the month, and the week of our school calendar written on it. Here's a log sheet that a parent and their student has completed. It represents one week of school. As you can see, some class activities are simply checked for completion. Others are checked off with a comment about extra work completed by recommendation of the parent or the teacher of record. Notice that the physical education class is completely written in by parents. This allows you the flexibility to fulfill PE requirements with physical activities that your child enjoys. Not only are the log sheets legal documents that show academic progress, they're also a weekly planning tool and pacing guide that the parent and student can consult on a daily basis. Sometimes adjustments need to be made to the work log. Therefore, it's a good idea to use a pencil for filling them out. To the left of each day shown on the work logs, there is a space for the parent's initial. While it may be tempting to initial a whole week in one sitting, you can reinforce your students' daily academic habits by reviewing their completed work with them and signing off each school day. At the bottom of each weekly log sheet are spaces for a parent and student signatures. Signing off together with your student at the end of each school week also models good self-management. By following the curriculum in each of their classes, your student will produce a lot of written work that shows their progress and what they have learned. Your teacher of record will often refer to this written work as a work sample. Your teacher of record collects all of your student's work to create a portfolio that shows their progress. Being a homeschool family generates a lot of paperwork, but keeping all of your student's work is important because every assignment that they complete is a potential work sample all work samples and logs will go into a portfolio to be reviewed by the Department of Education. The accreditation of our charter is dependent on this evidence of student work. Here's a work sample. As you see, the student's name and date are neatly written at the top of the paper. The dates on work samples should correspond with the dates represented on the work logs. It is really important to review each assignment that your student completes. Sitting with your child as you grade one of their assignments is a great way to monitor their progress, reinforce their learning, and give them confidence that they're doing well. We ask that you carefully correct and write a numerical grade on all completed assignments. Please bring all of your students' completed work to your teacher of record meetings. Student work samples should be organized and ready to be put into a portfolio. Your students' work logs and samples are legal documents that we strive to keep neat, professional, and business-like. You can attach your work samples to the logs using a paperclip. Please do not staple the work logs and samples together. 
We hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher of record as soon as possible. The teacher of record wants to help you and your student to be successful in your homeschool experience.